Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to explore a 4th degree polynomial equation with log x components. As always, feel free to try the question for yourself, otherwise keep watching. On the left side of this equation, we are given the product of log x plus 1 multiplied by log x plus 2 multiplied by log x plus 3 multiplied by log x plus 4 that's equal to 24 and obviously we are going to solve for x the conventional straightforward way to solve this equation is to multiply out the brackets so when we do that we are going to end up with log x square plus 3 log x plus 2 multiplied by log x square plus 7 log x plus 12 equals to 24. Obviously, the next step is to continue to multiply these two quadratic equations to get the quadratic equation and try to solve for x. But this is a very time-consuming, tedious way to deal with the equation. Let's explore a much easier method. Instead of multiplying the brackets in the sequence they are presented, let's try to switch things up. Let's do this. We are going to multiply this bracket with this bracket, and then we are going to multiply this bracket with this one. If we do that, we end up with log x plus 1 multiplied by log x plus 4 and that will be multiplied with log x plus 2 multiplied by log x plus 3 and that's equal to 24. Working on what we have within each bracket, now I have log x square plus 5 log x plus 4 within the first bracket, and on the second bracket, I have log x square plus 5 log x x plus 6 and that is equal to 24. If we study these two brackets, we notice something interesting. We notice that the first part of the bracket are actually the same. They both contain log x square plus 5 log x. The only difference is on the whole number on the back, which is plus 4 and plus 6. If we compare the number 4 and 6, we notice that both of them are within a plus minus 1 range of 5. And we can make use of this to come up with a substitution to make this much easier. So I'm going to come up with a variable a, and I'm going to call it a equal to log x squared plus 5 log x plus 5 and we are going to go ahead and express our brackets in terms of a obviously the first bracket will become a minus 1 and the second bracket will become a plus 1 and don't forget we still have 24 on the right hand side if we do that then the left hand side will be a square minus 1 square equal to 24. So I have a square equal to 25, a equal to plus minus 5. We're now ready to solve for x. Let's consider the first scenario. a equals to 5. So what I have now is log x square plus 5 log x plus 5 is equal to 5 
and then solving for x I have log x square plus 5 log x equal to 5 minus 5 equal to 0 let's isolate log x as the common term now I have log x bracket log x plus 5 equal to 0 so now I have log x equal to 0 or log x plus 5 equal to 0 when log x is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 when log x plus 5 equal to 0 log x equal to negative 5 x is equal to 10 to the power of negative 5. Now let's consider the second scenario with a equal to negative 5. So let's go ahead and solve for x. I have log x square plus 5 log x plus 5 is equal to negative 5 so log x square plus 5 log x plus 10 is equal to 0 let's apply our standard quadratic formula now I have log x is equal to negative 5 plus minus 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 that's the standard quadratic formula if we do that and if we pay attention to this part right here we notice that it's equal to the square root of 25 minus 40 which is equal to the square root of negative 15 meaning this part right here will have irrational roots and no acceptable answers. What that means is that we are left with our answer of x equal to 1, log x equal to 0, and x equals to 10 to the power of negative 5, log x equals to negative 5. Let's go ahead and try out our answers. Let's go ahead and test out our answers. If we let x, if we let log x equal to 0, this will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. If we let log x equal to negative 5, this will be minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. If we multiply both series of numbers, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, negative 4 times negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 1 we notice that both will equal to 24 meaning that our x values are correct as always thank you for watching my videos and have a blessed day